Now we come to the potential due to a system of charges. We saw the potential due to a single charge. We saw the potential due to a dipole. We now come to multiple charges. It could be any number. So let us say I have a Q1 here and a say Q2 here and say a Q3 here and dot 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 say Qn here. Okay. And and a Qn here. So here at this point P, okay, the, the, if, if say this point is P, Okay, this Qn. Now, you know the best part about finding out the potential is you have to just do the scalar sum, the algebraic sum. Fine. So, it will be what? R1P, say. Okay. We, we are only concerned about the distance. Right? Rather, I would like to call it as RP1 because if, if the way we are talking about rp minus r1 will be that vector okay and mod of that is rp1 but but i am not concerned about the vector right so whether you write it as r1p or rp1 does not matter because this is the this is the length distance between r1 and uh, between the charge 1 and the point p and that remains the same so so you can call it R1P or RP1. I, I prefer to call it RP1. This is RP2. This is RP3. This is RPN. Okay. So what is the potential? Potential due to a system of charges is obtained by the principle of superposition is obtained by the principle of superposition okay what does it say what is the principle of superposition that if if one charge is acting, it is acting as if the others are not there. Okay? And then the impact of all the charges is sum of the impacts. Okay? So, of the individual one. Of the individual one. So, principle of superposition we have. This is equal to Q1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Rp1 plus q2 4 pi epsilon naught r p2 plus q3 4 pi epsilon naught r p3 plus q n upon 4 pi epsilon naught r p n okay no potential is a scalar it is work done work done is a scalar so there'll, there, there will not be any vector sign over this. You just have to add it up. So And I can kind of make it a bit shorter. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 upon Rp1 plus Q2 upon Rp2. I have taken this as common. Q3 upon Rp3. Okay, if I use the sigma notation, it can be further shortened and it becomes i is equal to 1 to n qi upon rpi, right? So, so v is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught i is equal to 1 to n qi upon r p i okay this is your your potential
करेक्ट ओके फाइन 